Welcome back to our tutorial on dairy management software. Today, we'll be diving into the functionality of the three models that are crucial to our software. The milk, the lactation, and the pregnancy models. These models are interlinked and understanding their relationship is key to building a robust and reliable system for managing our dairy farm. At the present, the software allows entry of milk records even if there is no associated lactation instances attached to it. And similarly to pregnancy model, it's not tightly integrated with the lactation and milk models, which is not ideal from a logical standpoint. To address these issues, we'll be taking a deep dive into the inner workings of these three models and exploring how they can be better linked to provide a more complete picture of our heart's productivity. In addition, I shall add another new model weight record for keeping track of the weight of our dairy cows over time. Moving on to the lactation model, I have made a couple of changes to better reflect the real-world process of lactation. Firstly, I have added a new field, lactation number, this one, to track the number of lactation that a cow has gone through. This field will be automatically incremented whenever a new lactation instance is created for the cow. Secondly, I have added a meta class with the attribute get latest by, this one here. This allows us to easily retrieve the latest lactation instance for a cow using the built-in latest method. And lastly, I have made a change to the way lactation end dates are calculated. This one here. Previously, the end date was set to the start date of the next lactation. Overally, these changes to the lactation model provide a more accurate representation of a cow's lactation history and makes it easier to retrieve and manipulate lactation data. The get latest by attribute in the model's meta class informs Django or instructs Django which fields to use when determining the latest instance of the model. And in this case, we use the start date as this is the field we will use for getting the latest lactation instance. And in order to auto-increment the lactation number, we shall leverage on signals. Shall go ahead and add a new signal, name it assign lactation. Then it's a preserve signal, meaning that each and every time before the milk model is saved or a milk object or a milk record is saved, this signal will be fired and the lactation that's associated with the cow will be assigned as the milk is being saved. And now, I customize the calculation of the end date in this sense. If the end date is availed, meaning that the actual lactation had ended, then the date will be provided. But at times you find that there is no end date in this sense. Sometimes the cows are still lactating and there is no end date, meaning that at the previous state of end date calculation, it would return null or none. But as at now, it will return ongoing, as you will see after everything is done. And now, let's move to the pregnancy model, where I've made quite a few changes. I have commented out these lines, the one that checks the start date and the due date. This checks if the start date is greater than the due date. So assuming that the pregnancy had ended, actually, it would return this string ended. This won't make any sense because it will no longer be a date, but it will be just some ended statement, and this will lead to some errors. So I went ahead and commented all these checks that deals with the end date and the due date so that we shall refactor them in a way in the future. And now moving forward to the milk model, this one here, I added a single field, the lactation field that would be automatically tracked and assigned by this signal here, this one here, the one that I had explained while I was explaining the lactation model. So this signal ensures that for each and every milk entry, it goes and fetches the latest lactation of that cow, then assigns it automatically as the milk record is keyed in. And that's why the editable is false. This ensures that there is no any manual lactation stage or lactation data entry. And also, I added some three validation checks. First one being ensuring that the date is not in future and also the cow is not dead or sold. And now, with that all done, we need to perform the migrations. 
so as to ensure that our new model, the make migrations is applied to the database and it will do everything itself. Then we run the server, python manage.py, run the server. And now the server is up and running, but I forgot to migrate it actually. So let me migrate it first of all, python manage.py, migrate so that it applies the migrations and then now we run the server and now the server is up and running so let's proceed to the admin site and now we have the weight records and the heat records model already registered we'll go ahead and add a pregnancy record for a cow add first cow start date was in the last year maybe no let's give it probably september then the date of calving was maybe in may yeah yeah in may then the pregnancy was confirmed the outcome was a live calf and let's save it so actually we already have one into the database i think this one we did the other time so this is the record for the first cow, the pregnancy record for the first cow, the first date was this one, and the date of calving was this one. And now you see we have the pregnancy duration showing the number of days that the cow actually was lactating. Not lactating, sorry. <clears throat> How long the pregnancy lasted, and the due date of course because it had ended, so of course now it shows ended. And now let's proceed to the lactation records and check if the signal actually fired. And here we have it. The start date of this lactation is the date of calving of the first cow. Makes a lot of sense. And now it's now 260, 296 days since the May 4th, 2022. And the stage of the lactation is dry. And so we'll go ahead and try entering milk entry for for this first cow. Add first cow then give it some milk entry then try saving of course because of the validation checks that we added today for the milk model they cannot add a milk entry the car has been dried off and now i'll go ahead and edit the lactation models code to ensure that this cow's lactation stage falls in between the early and the late lactation so here it is I will just set it to 300 because the lactation days for the cow is 296 so 300 makes sense so if i try saving it saves and you can see that the lactation stage is now viewable from the milk record lists and this cow produced 0.03 i know it does not make sense then the lactation stage is late then this was the first cow that produced this milk. And that's it for this tutorial. Subscribe, like and share. See you again.